If you have less than five cells open, you have a high-speed malfunction. High-speed malfunctions require rapid assessment, decision, and action. In these situations, you're losing altitude fast. Let's take a look at the different types of high-speed malfunctions. The cause of a hard pull is where you cannot deploy your pilot sheet on the first attempt. It may be that you require more effort. The effect is that you remain at terminal velocity. The remedy is to confirm your grip on the pilot sheet, dig your elbow into the side of the container and attempt to lever. If you still can't get it out, commence your emergency procedures immediately. Do not sacrifice altitude. A pilot chute in tow is when the pilot chute has been deployed but failed to open the main container. The effect of having the pilot chute towing behind means that you are still at terminal velocity. The remedy is to complete the time awareness count and go immediately to your emergency procedures. For a long, long time, my biggest fear was a pilot shoot in tow uh, because for some reason, wh how, whether it's an uncocked pilot shoot or uh, it's a closing pin, sorry, a closing loop that's too tight or uh, a misrouted bridle, I've got a pilot shoot towing out there behind me and, and you know, there's not really a lot I can do except cut away and then deploy a reserve out past it. And, and if the main then comes out, then I can end up with a, a main reserve entanglement. The cause of a total malfunction is where the main deployment handle cannot be located or deployed. The effect is like previous scenarios where you're still at terminal velocity. The remedy is to make only two attempts to locate your handle. If you are still unable to locate and deploy, immediately commence your emergency procedures. The cause of a bag lock may be that the lines have wrapped around the bag during deployment, or that the mouth of the bag is locked off. The effect is that you are still at terminal velocity and could also be in a feet to earth attitude which increases your speed. The remedy for a bag lock is to complete the time awareness count, then go immediately to your emergency procedures.
A streamer is where the canopy is out or partially out of the deployment bag but is failing to open. This can be caused by physical damage, uneven line deployment and entanglement, or even a slider hang-up. The effect is a feet-to-earth attitude and a high rate of descent. Also, the slider may not be visible or rectangular in shape. The remedy is to complete the time awareness count and immediately commence your emergency procedures. As with the bag lock or pilot chute and tow, your count will allow you to maintain time awareness in a high speed malfunction situation. If you reach the end of your count and you're still traveling at terminal velocity without a normal deployment, you should initiate emergency procedures. A horseshoe malfunction can be caused by an unstable deployment or a dislodged pin that opens the main container while the pilot chute remains in the BOC pouch. One possible effect is the bridle becoming entangled with the jumper. Another possible effect is the bag being out of the container with the pilot chute still in the BOC pouch. In both situations, you will be at terminal velocity. The remedy for both situations is to initiate your emergency procedures immediately. The other big high-speed malfunction that, uh, that I've always been worried about is, the, is a horseshoe, which again, uh, I've got my main connected to me in two places and and cutting away may not uh, disconnect that from me in both those places and and deploying a reserve then you know, also means that the reserve has to get out past that main and hopefully not get entangled and end up with a main reserve and an entanglement. As you have seen, there are a number of high-speed malfunction scenarios, all of which require the initiation of emergency procedures. Remember, you don't have time to analyse or fix the problem. You need to act immediately.